A short video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can quickly create a contour design or offset design using something like this, using gradients. Now, this is with shapes. Of course you could use it with other layers as well, but I'm just going to use... Now I'm going to remove this one. So I'm just going to... Yep. Remove that. Okay, so once you've done that, just go and select Custom Shape Tool or something maybe like... Just going to go up over there. The ellipse tool, that's another possibility. Just select the ellipse. And once you've got that design there, what you can do, just go to the layer and layer style and outer glow. Just going to go there. Now, see at this point, it doesn't actually display it. But say so I'm going to show you actually how to create it. So I'm just going to remove that now. So just going to go back to a very basic gradient at first. So just click there. Just click there and you can see then you've got this. Make certain that's 100%, 100% there. And have got the colour there and the colour there. So I'm just going to drag that over to 5%. So you just create 5% there. And then go back to the other colour and go to 10%. Click there and go back to, then go to 15%. Go to that colour and 20%. And so on, you can so basically just go across the entire design. Now, I'm not going to do that. Once you're actually happy, once you've actually done all those stops, you put all the way through, go all the way over to here to 100%, and then so you just click nut new so you've saved it. But I'm just going to go back to the one that I actually had earlier. So just, just to show you all the various stops, they've all been done already. So click OK. And um, once you've got that, out of glow. Now, I'm going to go for normal there, but you can, of course, use other ones, depending on the colour of the background, what you're using it with. I think normal's fine. Just go with that. Set opacity to 100%. I'm going to go with precise. Make certain you've actually selected the gradient option there. And you can modify the size. See the size there. Yep. Put it about there. One thing about this, it does slightly degrade a bit. You can see a little bit of wobble as it just goes around. It's not very... Perfect. Even for a perfect circle, it just seems to generate a very odd. Now, what you can do then, just move that so I can actually demonstrate. Next thing, contour. So what you can do, just click there. And that's obviously a default one, so just click there. And you can actually see, you can create some more different type of contours just by clicking that contour. And of course, you can edit that as well if you wish. But I'm just going to go with the basic one there. And once you've done that, you can modify the range. So you can see that you can modify it again using the range and so push it up to 100%. And you've got the design there. So once you're actually happy with that, and of course, I say you comply, click OK there, go to Custom Shapes, and just go and select one this Custom Shape again. And then just go back to Layer, Layer Style, and Outer Glow, just down there. And you've got the outer glow there, and you can see the game design very quickly added there, just using exact same precise, normal, all that, and size there, as well as range. And again, you can modify, you can just create a whole range of different designs just by clicking and changing the contour setting there. A quick way of doing that. Now, one thing you can do once you're happy with that design, of course, click OK, and then you can go to a layer and go down here to Smart Objects, Convert to Smart Object. So it's converted to Smart Object, and then you can apply effects to it and much more. So you just go Filter, maybe Liquify. Just gonna go to Liquify and Distort it. So you can create a lovely distorted design with that contour as well. And click OK, and then of course Edit and Transform, maybe Apply. Distort, and you can actually distort it as well. You'll see that one there. Click OK, and then you've got the design there. And of course, you can, of course, it does help to avoid cutting the edge off. But anyway, hope you found this tutorial of interest. Thank you very much.